Oh, get old. My muscles. Oh, I did a gym session this week. Since then, I've just been so sore, like getting upstairs, it's been like, ow, ow. <laughs> Hashtag think she's fit, but really isn't. <laughs> Anyway, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share today's recipe with you. I don't know why I keep clapping so loudly. Sorry about that. I'm going to be sharing a natural deodorant. Now, some of you who have been following me for quite a while, at least two or more years, will know that I did do a video back in the day, back way back when, <laughs> of a natural deodorant that I made a while back, pretty much. Yeah. It was a recipe that I got from Wellness Mama get all my recipes from her really she's just so good but I thought I'd do a more updated version of natural deodorant something that I wanted to do for a while because I actually watched my video that I did a couple years ago on that natural deodorant and oh my gosh awkward I look so awkward in that video you guys leave such nice comments though so it makes you feel a little bit better anyway I thought I'd do a more updated version because I have changed deodorant since, since then so I actually use a deo deodorant called Porter Healing, which I know you guys will have heard me talk about so often. Like, it's just my favorite deodorant. I just shout it to the skies, like, it's just the best thing ever. Anyway, this is the deodorant that I use. It's the Citrus Blend. Oh, hold, hold on. My arms are so tight, too, in this shirt. It's probably, like, a one size too small. It was given to me, so I, I really love it. But whenever I lift my arms up, I'm like, oh, it's like a straight jacket. I can't move my arms above here. Anyway. <laughs> So this is the deodorant that I use. It's the citrus blend with bicarb soda in it. They do do one that doesn't have bicarb in it. If you, some of you guys might react to it. I know some people react to bicarb. So yeah, they do have a version that's non-bicarb. I just like this one because I find it works really well because I'm a huge sweater. I'm a sweater. I sweat a lot, so especially doing gym. Like I come out and it looks like I've had a shower. I know. Like gross eh? <laughs> but it's true I'm just so super sweaty I'm sure other people out there are super sweaty too and this is just the perfect deodorant for all you sweaty gals out there and guys too anyway so I thought I'd do a deodorant recipe based off this one because it's such a favorite of mine so it is a citrus blend de natural deodorant that I'll be making today I changed a few of the ingredients just because some of them I didn't actually have with me so these are the ingredients it's all natural, that's why I really love this deodorant. And it's just a time saver to have rather than constantly making my own. I have one ready to go. Anyway, I wanted to base a natural deodorant recipe off that. So I actually don't know what the quantities of the ingredients are, probably a good thing so people don't copy it. I just wanted to get the ingredients and sort of just guesstimate basing off my previous deodorant recipe, going off that one and sort of just using the ingredients recommended on this. So for the essential oils, rather than using juniper, I think that's how you say it, juniper, sweet orange and lemon, I just used normal, just orange essential oil, lemon and grapefruit. Best combo. I swear those three combined is like the ultimate scent. It's the best thing ever. I love citrus and that smell of the three combined is like, oh, I melt. It's so nice. Anyway, so I'm going to be using them as the essential oil kind of fragrance today. And I will be putting bicarb in the recipe, so if you guys don't want to use that, that's totally fine. Just omit that ingredient if you have a sensitivity to bicarb. Feel free to leave that one out. I just use it because it's like a great way to... It eliminates odour really well, so I keep it in there. But yeah, and also I'll be using tapioca flour, which I think tapioca and arrowroot are the same thing. Maybe not. Maybe you guys will be like, no, they're not. But I'll be like, I'm pretty sure I heard that though. So I use tapioca flour, but I'm pretty sure they're the same. But if not... Just use avo root powder. I use have yoga today. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into making today's recipe. I'll stop rambling and we'll get straight to it. <laughs> to make the natural deodorant, you want to create a broiler. So you heat a saucepan with some water and put a bowl on top. And this will help to heat the bowl up. Then add in your coconut butter or cacao butter, which is what I used. Coconut oil and shea butter. And you want to stir that consistently until it melts. Once it's finished melting, then you can take it off heat and you want to add in the bicarb soda if you're using arrowroot powder and mix that together until it's no longer clumpy and there's no bits of powder left in it and becomes a smooth consistency. Then once it's cooled a little, you want to add in the essential oils if you're using and stir them through. And once that's done, you can pour your liquid into your containers. I'm just reusing old containers that I have from previous products that I've bought. They're really great to use for products that I make. They're the perfect size. Once 
Once you finish pouring the liquid into the containers, you may notice at the bottom that some of it's starting to set. So just scrape the rest of the mixture in with a spoon and you're going to let it either sit at room temperature until the mixture completely sets or you can put it in the fridge for a few hours. I put mine in the fridge overnight to let it set and it was ready by the morning. Once it's finished, you're ready to use and it can sit out at room temperature and you can use it like that or you can keep it in the fridge if your kind of climate is warmer. As you may notice that the coconut oil may separate a little bit so if you want you can just keep it in the fridge and use otherwise if you didn't use as much coconut oil you may notice that the mixture holds together well so it's just up to you the first time Ooh. in all my videos and I don't sing well either so I'm sorry everyone <laughs> and that is today's natural deodorant recipe I hope you guys enjoyed it fingers crossed you did I hope you guys like it if you do try it please let me know what you think and I will link the in the description below the recipe to making this deodorant today and also where you can find this porter healing deodorant because uh, I totally recommend they're amazing and all the ingredients are naturally derived which just means they're all natural so good and a lot of them actually source from the blue mountains in australia which is like my favorite place to go and it's like a national park kind of area so it's not been touched by anyone so it's completely kind of on it on its own like thriving not you know impacted by us <laughs> through our chemical you know pesticides and things like that so it's really just an organic sort of place which is really good and if you do come to Australia, definitely check it out. Great place to visit. Today's ginormous, huge, gigantic shout out goes to Emma Greethed. I am so grateful for your beautiful comment that you left on my henna hair dyeing video. I'm so glad you thought the henna look looked amazing. I hope you do try it out. Please let me know how it goes for you if you do. I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching and for commenting on my video and for your support and love. It means so much to me. Thank you everybody. Your endless support means so much to me. More than words can describe. I'm so grateful. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Fingers crossed you did. I really hope so. And I hope to see you guys in my future videos if I haven't scared you off, which I hope not. Anyway, Hope you have a wonderful day and fingers crossed I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.